What's up, Day Slayers? Today we are going to watch a uh, a match from BJJ history between Andre Galvao and Adolfo Vieira. This was in 2009. Um, I'm just going to let you watch here and enjoy some beautiful Kimura Trap technique. And then I'm going to break it down for you. That's Galvao on top and Adolfo Vieira on bottom here. Galvao's trying to pass his guard unsuccessfully. And this was the first time anyone ever saw a back take off a Kimura trap, at least in competition. Galvao gets both of his hooks in and he wins the match. All right, let's break this down a little bit. There's some key, there's some key things I'm seeing here. So we're going to go back a little bit. Okay, so first, we're looking right here. Okay, I'm going to pause. See how Galval has this this hand, this wrist control trapped to the floor? All right, well, how did he create that situation? Okay, because that's not easy to do. Galval's jacked. Um, you can't just pin someone like that, their wrist to the floor. So let's let's go back a little bit and see little baits and traps that Galval is setting here. Okay, so boom, he's in this kind of single leg, does a back step, let's keep going here, okay, we're actually going to go back a little bit farther, see see how Galvao is looking for wrist pins, um, there's a fly over there, but throughout the entire match, Galvao is looking for wrist pins, right here, there's one wrist pin, always useful um, for inhibiting movement for his opponent okay he loses that one he's just constantly looking for wrist pins as he's doing his leg work Toriandos and m1s all right so now you see right here he's looking for wrist control again now you see right here what he does is he put he posts his hand which might have been an intentional bait or might have just been his his flow but either way galval posting his hand uh, baits Galvao into uh, going for his own baits Hadolfo going for his own wrist control. Okay, and what happens here is Galvao easily turns that into direct wrist control on Hadolfo. Okay, because Hadolfo isn't able to create that that sandwich between the ground and his own hand control, whereas Galvao is. So Galvao easily pummels out and gains that wrist control. Okay, and now here's the next thing. See, so he's about to go into this roll here. We're going to go back a few clicks. Other really important thing. Galval has this necktie before he rolls. Okay, because in order for this roll to work, he needs Adolfo's back and back of his neck to be off the mat. Okay, because this is this is called back exposure. Okay, back exposure is anytime there's daylight between the mat and the opponent's uh, back. Any part of their back. Lower back, upper back neck even back of their head okay so Galvao needs to maintain that by we're gonna go back one more click where you really see him controlling that neck so he's really holding that neck and really holding him up as he's fighting for that wrist that arm just stays there this hand right here okay and then that allows him upon the Kimura roll he releases it allows him to get behind right there boom and then he sinks in both hooks. All right, so that's a nice little lesson. He couldn't pass his guard, so he went straight to the back. Because the whole point of passing the guard is to get the opponent to turn over. Um, so, and you see he win, and now he'll win the match by points. Um, so just think about using Kimura rolls anytime you're struggling to pass your opponent's guard. All right? See you guys next time.